Okay, so lecture 23, we're going to talk about thin lenses and alternative equation, right? So you remember that the usual equation that we use, right, is that 1 over DO plus 1 over DI, that's the distance to the image, is equal to 1 over the focal length of the lens. And here I'm writing the lens, I'm going to do it like this. This basically means that it would be a converging lens, right? And if I wrote it like this, we would be talking about a diverging lens. Just a little easier to draw. But this is the, the plane of the lens right here. E is the center point of the lens. This point C I've labeled here, and this point G are the focal points of the lens. Over here at A is the head, and B is the tail of this thing I'm going to image. This is my object. Uh, it's got a height of h naught. That's the usual way that we write that, right? And then all I've done is I've drawn rays that go, uh, come in parallel to the optical axis and pass through the focus, and drawn a ray that goes through the focus and comes out parallel uh, after the lens. So those two rays I picked, I did not draw the one going through the center point E. Um, and we form an image, which is real image, and it is uh, inverted of course, as all real images are, okay? Which means if I held a piece of paper up here, I would see an upside down image of whatever I illuminated over here, H0. Um, and this is the, the usual lens equation which we derived uh, in, the, in terms of spherical uh, reflectors. But I told you it applies to this. There's one small change though, and that's a sign convention. So if DO, the object distance, is measured here will be a positive quantity. If it's a real image, then di, which is on the other side of the lens, will also be a positive quantity. Okay? And for a converging lens, the focal length will be a positive quantity. If it was a diverging lens, we would call the focal length a negative quantity. So just a little bit of a convention. This is just to make uh, certain things work out right. But as far as the ray optics go, you know, you don't need to even worry about that. You can just do the geometry of it. But I want to point out a couple of similar triangles here. Uh, the first one is the triangle ABC. ABC, uh, which you will notice is similar to triangle FEC. So where is FEC? And you can see that this angle here is opposite this angle here. Uh, and so this being a straight line makes these two triangles similar. Now what does that mean for us? Well, that means that we can write that a, the, the height here in FEC, this height right here, this distance, is HI, right? So we can write that uh, HI over F this distance here, so this over this is equal to HO over DO minus F. It's this little distance right here, right? So this is DO minus F. DO minus F. <clears throat> but that's not the only similar triangle I want to point out. We also have triangle IHG. Um, I H G I H G and triangle D E G D E G again these angles are the same because they are opposite angles uh, D E G D E G and what does that mean? That means that H sub I over, this would be di minus f, because it's this distance right here, right from here to here, uh, which is d sub i minus f, which is this distance, is equal to this distance, which is h naught, over f. OK, 
Okay? So, like before, let's uh, solve this in terms of h sub i over h o, right? So that's the height of the image divided by the height of the object, right? And if I do that, I'm going to get f over d naught minus f. Turn that noise off. Which will also be equal to d sub i minus f over f. And this gives us that f squared is equal to d sub i minus f times d sub o minus f. And so that's kind of a, a new version of the lens, an alternative version of the, uh, the lens equation. It's, it is the same as this if you rework this, okay? But uh, sometimes this can be more convenient. And so one place where it is, is in terms of the magnification that you get with a lens. Uh, which we can write now as h sub i over h of o. So we can pick either one of these. It's usually more convenient to pick this one, right? So the magnification will be equal to f over d sub o minus f. Okay? And there's one other adjustment that I need to make here. I need to add a negative sign here. And the reason I put the negative sign there is there's a sign convention that says that if the image is inverted and real, then the sign of it will be negative, okay? And so we put this negative sign in here so that we have that convention. Um, if it's a positive, if the magnification is positive, uh, it will be virtual and uh, non-inverted, okay? And so in the... Uh, the next little lesson, we'll uh, we'll see an example of that. Any questions? This and this are just two forms of the same thing. Okay, might leave it as an exercise to show that that's the case. Okay, it's just a little algebra, but uh, this can sometimes prove to be useful. And out there, f squared equals d sub i minus f times d sub o minus f. Is the same as 1 over do plus 1 over di equals 1f over f? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay.